Hi everyone, today we'll be looking at PLC programming for beginners, 17 common questions answered. PLC programming for beginners can seem intimidating, but it doesn't have to be. With the right resources, anyone can get up and running quickly. Here are 17 most common frequently answered questions. This is a great place to start for anyone learning about PLC programming. Through thorough explanations of key concepts and answers to many of the most common questions about PLC programming, this resource should give you all the information you need to take your first steps into PLC programming. We will discuss the common questions for PLC programming using several different manufacturers of PLC hardware and software. At the end, you will see my recommendations for a beginner in learning industrial automation. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. There are a host of other videos that can be associated with this video, and that'll be also put in a link in the description below. What is a PLC? A PLC, or Programmable Logic Controller, is a digital computer used for industrial automation. It is designed to operate in harsh environments and can control machinery and processes in manufacturing plants, power generation, and other industries. What are the types of PLC? The main types of PLCs are compact, modular, and rack mounted. Compact PLCs are also known as shoe boxes. They have all the components integrated into one unit. Modular PLCs are built with interchangeable components. These components usually are attached to the side of the main PLC unit. Rack mounted PLCs are designed to be mounted in a cabinet or rack. These PLCs generally have a larger number of inputs and outputs and components or cards will fit into the rack which usually contains the communication bus and power system. PLCs now come in many configurations so refer to your operation manual for the components and expansion of your controller. What is ladder logic? Ladder logic is the most common programming language used to program PLCs. It is a graphical representation of electrical wiring diagrams used to describe the control complex industrial systems. It is called ladder because the graphical image looks like a ladder with rungs. Ladder logic is solved from left to right, top to bottom. The outputs from the previous rung are available for the next rung to use. What are the basic components of a PLC? The basic components of a PLC system are the CPU or central processing unit, power supply, input output or IO modules, and programming device. Although these are the basic components, they will usually also add HMI or human machine interface and networking. As part of the Internet of Things or IoT or Factory 4.0, PLCs are just another edge device on your network. What are the different types of programming languages used in PLCs? The IEC 61131-3 standard lists five different programming languages used to program your PLC. They are ladder logic, function block diagram, structured text, or ST, sequential function chart, SFC, and instruction list, IL. Even though there are five official languages you can, you can use, not all PLC controllers use every language. Please refer to your controller's operation manual. What is the function of a CPU in a PLC? The CPU, or central processing unit, is the brain of the PLC. It executes your program and controls the I.O. modules, or input and output modules, to process the inputs and outputs. What is the role of the power supply in a PLC? The power supply provides necessary electrical power to the PLC system. Mean time before failure, or MTBF, is usually calculated on the life expectancy of the power supply in your system. What are I.O. modules? I.O. modules are devices that allow the PLC to communicate with the outside world. They convert analog and digital signals into a format that the PLC can process. What is the difference between analog and digital I.O.? 
Analog I.O. deals with continuous signals that have a range of values like temperature, pressure, flow, etc. Digital I.O. deals with discrete signals that have only two possible values, on or off. How do you program a PLC? You can program a PLC using software designed for this purpose. Typically, every manufacturer will have their own proprietary programming software package. The software allows you to create a program using the language or languages of the controller you are using. Once you have created the program, you can download it to the PLC. Software prices range from free to thousands of dollars. They can even include maintenance fees for your programming software. There are many minimum investment or free programming software that this website has promoted. The following two even come in handy with PLC simulators so you can program and test without purchasing the hardware. That is the Proactivity Suite programming software and the Do More Designer programming software. What are the advantages of a PLC over traditional relay-based control systems? PLCs are more reliable, easier to troubleshoot, and provide more flexibility in programming than traditional relay-based control systems. What is the difference between open loop and closed loop systems? Open loop control systems do not use feedback, while closed loop control systems use feedback to adjust the system's output. What is a PID controller? A PID, or Proportional Integral Derivative, controller is a type of closed loop control system that is used to maintain the desired output in response to a changing input. It uses three parameters, proportional, integral, and derivative, to calculate and adjust the output. This is a time-based control system with fixed parameters. What is the function of a watchdog timer in a PLC? A watchdog timer is a safety feature that monitors the operation of the PLC. If the timer expires, it indicates that there is a fault in the system and the PLC will enter a safe mode. What is scan time? A scan time is a time it takes for the CPU to execute the program once. It consists of four phases. Input read scan, execute program scan, diagnostics and communication, and update output scan. What is the difference between local and remote I.O.? A local I.O. module is physically connected to the PLC, while a remote I.O. module is connected to the PLC over a communication network. Remote I.O. communication is deterministic. This means that the communication time is known for the I.O. to respond quickly. Remote I.O. will usually involve a proprietary communication protocol based upon the manufacturer. What is network communication in a PLC system? Network communication is the exchange of data between different devices in a PLC system over a communication network. This is usually done with open communication protocols like Modbus or Ethernet IP. Node-RED is an open source program that enables you to collect, store, and display data from your computers. This is an IoT enabling software package. So how do you start and begin PLC programming? The answer will differ from user to user, but I would start with the PLC Programmer's Guide. This provides a series of articles that can be followed from start to finish or quickly scanned for the topic that you are interested in for the answers. If you have a specific question on PLC hardware, then search threads can help. This is a custom Google search that will only list matches from a selected, highly rated websites and communities. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.